Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. This article comes to you guys from Mike over at Light Reading. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So there's an interesting development that I'm tracking, and this is what I'm being told. So I'm being told now that this is, and this is from several people, that this is a T-Mobile-only deal that's being finalized and is in the late stages. Maybe Verizon had some talks with U.S. Cellular. Maybe they looked into it. But I am told now that Verizon is, is, is not a part of this deal anymore and there won't be an announcement coming from Verizon and U.S. Cellular. Now, that's that's what I'm hearing. Again, that's unofficial. You guys do with that as you will. But what I'm told right now is this is very, very imminent between T-Mobile and U.S. Cellular. What I, so what I think T-Mobile did, um, I put out a tweet on that yesterday too, Mike Siebert recently announced during the earnings call that the reserve price for the 800 megahertz spectrum auction is close to being met. That would give them proceeds of $3.5 billion. Pretty much free money, right? I mean, you could say they paid $26 billion for the entire merger of Sprint. They got eight hundred dollars for that. But regardless, if they can sell the eight hundred, dollars I think they probably sell it to a utilities company. They get $3.5 billion. What do they do with those proceeds? They turn around and buy $2 billion worth of assets from U.S. Cellular, and they spend the rest, what is it, maybe a, a $1.5 billion on making 2.5 more contiguous. I think that's a smart play. I think that's a very wise on how you spend those proceeds. Now, the U.S. Cellular uh, <clears throat> is a bit interesting, right? Now that... Verizon is not a part of the deal, that likely means what U.S. Cellular is selling off is a lot smaller than what it would have been if Verizon was a part of it. So I was made aware last night that Verizon in the past bought like one market, I think it was, from or one or two markets from U.S. Cellular in the past, and that cost them about $250 million. So that's something that you know, T-Mobile could also be doing that. They're they're uh, not picking apart U.S. Cellular, but they're looking at, okay, this is where we're weaker. This is an area where we are weaker, where we would like to expand more. So we're going to buy, and this is what I'm thinking. I think they're buying 600 megahertz and 2.5 assets from U.S. Cellular. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think they're, they're buying C-band, DOD in those parts. That's just me. I think they're buying 2.5 because U.S. Cellular does own 2.5 and they own 600. And I think T-Mobile also buys some customers off of U.S. Cellular. That's what I'm thinking, too. If that happens, right, then you would you would end up in, in that market that they announced, you would end up being a T-Mobile customer um, on a better network. And then with additional 600, 2.5 and all the other assets, you would, of course, also uh, be subject to getting FWA through T-Mobile if it's available in your in your area. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, and I'm theorizing, speculating, of course, nothing official. I'm thinking T-Mobile does this in areas where they already have 602.5 built out, and they're looking to further expand. So like I said, once they spend this $2 billion, which is pretty much you know, free money because they're getting it from the proceeds of 800. They have zero deployment cost after the fact because it's it's equipment that's already deployed. Now, are they going to still have to put up new towers and co-locate in these areas to expand? Of course, they will have to continue to do that regardless of, of, of how we view it or what happens. They will have to continue to expand services. But T-Mobile is looking to aggressively compete in rule and I've said it before when, when, when these talks, these rumors were starting up, that this would be the fastest way for T-Mobile to gain any type of presence in rule, whether that's the tower sites, the spectrum, the customer, whatever, this would be the fastest way. U.S. Cellular is the last biggest remaining regional player that has a solid footprint that T-Mobile could, uh, could absorb. And T-Mobile knows that they can't get all of U.S. Cellular, and I don't think at this point in time U.S. Cellular is ready to be sold in, in its entirety. U.S. Cellular is likely just looking for a cash infusion, 
So and the regulatory environment, antitrust, I think T-Mobile understands that they should just get part of it and not have to go through such troubles getting it. And the government also understands that the situation that U.S. Cellular is in isn't good either. So this is I think this works. This gives uh, this buys U.S. Cellular likely more time. And this helps T-Mobile greatly achieve their rule ambitions. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.